Hi everyone, it's Vicki and I am back and I have a stitch fix. Yep, taking just a little kind of a staycation here. Uh, finally feeling better after months of feeling terrible. Got this diverticulitis under control and I think it's been making, had been making me feel lousy for a long time. So yeah, so I've been up doing all kinds of things. I made fresh biscuits from scratch this morning from breakfast put jam on them that I made two days ago and butter that I made yesterday. Yes, you can turn heavy whipping cream into butter and buttermilk. Easiest if you have KitchenAid, but yeah. But anyway, so uh, I took a little time just to do some stuff like that in the house. Just, I love cooking, especially baking. And uh, I actually felt like standing there and doing it, so. All right, so what did I get? I got a note from my stylist, but I won't read that to you because that would be boring for you. All right, so the items I got, ooh, there's some spendy ones in here, a couple of them over $100. Um, the total picks by my stylist, make a noise, was $359.50. If I were to buy all five items, I would get a 25% discount on that of $89.88, which would bring my total down to $269.62. Now I do have a credit with um, Stitch Fix of $42.22. I did not pay for shipping. So actually, if I wanted to buy everything because of the credit, I would um, pay $227.40. I don't pay a monthly fee to get reimbursed. So that's good. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the box. And you will have to excuse my hands and fingers. I got dough fingernails. <laughs> All right, so the first item is Nick and Zoe, and it is a sweater. And it's cute. It's got a um, scalloped hem there, you can see. Long sleeve. It's a light knit sweater. And it's orange with white. It looks like it's a little bit of pink in the background or apricot or something like that. So let's see. Nick and Zoe. A uh, vital v-neck sweater and coral 2x $108 now I like this sweater a lot but do I need it uh, you know I live in Florida and it is a warm spring it's about to start to turn summer before too long I mean I got tomatoes and peppers growing in the yard so I don't know all right so next is by Madewell not my favorite brand they always have the ugly sleeves well, they're ugly on me. I shouldn't say that. Uh, it's called the Circular Systems Knit Polo Blue 2X 49.50. I do like the fabric and the color. Let's see what kind of sleeve it has. Oh, I'm afraid to look. I'm afraid to look. Yeah, it's got it. Those sleeves just don't work so well for me. But it's kind of cute. It almost looks short, but because I'm short-waisted, it isn't probably going to be on me. But yeah, it's cute though. But yeah don't think so it, how much was it 49.50 it's nice but all right don't like this fabric already what is this it's got it's red with hearts oh this is a nightgown but it's that kind of yeah i don't like the fabric at all this this is just going to have static electricity it is a nice length and the color red is pretty and the camera looks orange but it's a deeper red little hearts and it's got a nice sleeve I like the shape of the garment of course it has no stretch because it's this fabric it is oh it's Bobo sleepwear I like the brand Bobo normally Bobo sleepwear lovey satin sleep and something probably lounge in red 2x $36 price is nice yeah I always like getting nightgowns because I wear them and I, uh, you know, have to, get, I just got rid of a couple, but yeah, I go through them and they get washed so often that, yeah, it's nice to get them. All right, so, uh-oh, jeans. Yeah, I don't know. I might have picked out some of this stuff. Oh, look, it's got embroidery on the legs. I may have picked out some of this because they send you a preview. So I can't say too much because, but I can't tell, oh, democracy jeans. Now those are usually nice. 
Democracy, Krista Ab Solution Girlfriend, and it stops, Blue 20W, $108. All right, so these jeans have got to look fabulous. They're pretty light wash. Um, they've got the uh, elastic in the waistband. It says on here, Absolution Girlfriend, featuring slimming panels constructed to mold and hold. Okay. I see just this light stuff, maybe to smooth. It doesn't look strong enough to mold and hold, but what do I know? <laughs> we'll try them on. And should be one more item, right? Oh, yep, yep. All right, so this is something more up my alley. This is a pair of cotton shorts. I think these are longer ones, Bermuda ones. If they're not, they're closer. They're navy by Market and Spruce. Yeah, I like these. I hope these work. Market and Spruce. I'm kind of at a weird size right now because of being sick for three and a half weeks. I lost, I don't know, 12 pounds. All right, so Market and Spruce Madison Mid-Rise Chino in Navy, 20W, $58. So yeah, I hope these work. I like these. I have something very similar, if not the same, in black, but I prefer navy. Although I don't think I have a lot of t-shirts that'll go with navy. That just gives me a reason to find a top that does. <laughs> All right, so I gotta get these tried on in the next day or so. See you then. Okay, so first is the nightgown. Uh, hate the fabric. Really do. It already has static cling. Look at it. See, it should, it's this wide, but it just sticks to me. Yeah, I do not like this fabric, especially in Florida. I don't know who has the idea that polyester is a breathable fabric. I keep reading that. Even my stylist mentioned that <laughs> it is not a breathable fabric. A breathable fabric is a natural fabric like cotton. This is not. Yeah, it's just sticking to me. I don't know if you can tell, but I can feel it, and I could see it when I was in the other room. But yeah, all right, so aside from the fabric, like the V-neck, decent sleeves. Uh, it's a nice long length. I actually kind of prefer just a little shorter nightgowns. Yeah, I don't mind them if they're even shorter than that, because, I don't know, I get to go to the bathroom a lot during the middle of the night. It just makes it easier. You're not worried when you're half asleep, but you know, getting your nightgown down behind you when you're trying to go or something. But yeah, the design is cute. It's just red with hearts. Yeah, if this was a different fabric, it would be a maybe, like, but yeah, again, I prefer them a little bit shorter, but it's okay. It's cute. It's comfy. I like it. Uh, I don't like the sleeves on it. I just don't think they're that flattering to me, this type of sleeve. I need a real sleeve, not this dolman cut-off sleeve. It is a little short in the front. It's longer in the back. If the front was as long as the back, I'd prefer it just to cover up the tummy just a little bit. But, but it is nice. Feels good. It's comfy. It's got a nice stiff collar. Yeah. So I like that about it. All right, the shorts. They have a really nice fit. I don't have any any kind of, what do you call it, you know, the, uh, <laughs> oh, I can't think. <laughs> you know, normally I have all this extra fabric down in the crotch, and I don't have that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how they look in the back. I haven't seen them in the back. But um, they feel good. They feel like a great fit. I really like that about them. But they are awfully short. Yeah. I don't know. I think they're a little too short. I like that the leg is kind of loose. If they could be a couple inches longer and maintain the looseness, they do have stretch, but I really like a loose fit. Remember the 80s with all the khaki shorts? They were much longer, but that looseness they had, I, I think they need to bring that back. Cause uh, yeah, cause that was really comfortable. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's a cute outfit together actually. And, uh, but yeah. I don't know. All right, so this is a little bit warm for Florida. Yeah, it's a little thicker and I, yeah. I don't know, it's, you know, spring, getting close to summer. 
it's summer weather, you know, we're in the pool already this week. So, but it's nice. It's soft. Um, it's not super soft, but it's soft. It has a nice cut, this v-neck, it has this uh, scallop a little bit. Yeah, it's a nice fit, I think. It has these long things right here. I don't know if you can see the difference in the weave. So to me, it looks like it's supposed to be like this, making it a three quarter or making it where you can pull it up and it stays. So that's a nice look too. I like three quarter sleeves. I know people say that's, you know, an old lady thing, <laughs> but I do, I've always liked three quarter sleeves. I think they're flattering. I don't know why, but unless you've got really toned arms, I think they're very flattering. And if you got really toned arms, then I think like halter or sleeveless. But anyway, so that's the top. It's obviously something this time of Florida, this time of year is not really a go for me. So, all right, so let's look at the, the jeans, which I like, but he doesn't when I was walking through. He, he comments as I'm walking through. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like them. Um, I think they have a pretty good fit. They have definitely drawn in at the waist, and I noticed that because I don't wear jeans at my natural waist because I'm short-waisted. They end up coming up higher, and so this is definitely a little bit tighter. Um, not too much crop dro crotch droop, but a little. I couldn't think of that word when I was doing the shorts, but a little bit. I probably wouldn't even have noticed it if I hadn't just done the shorts. I didn't have any. All right, I know I'm a mess from trying on clothes, but... Uh, try not to even do my face in these so that you see the clothes and not me. But anyway, I think they're cute. They got this design down them. Uh, they're very much a light wash, which I'm not crazy for this light of a wash. They are rolled at the bottom, so I assume that they could be longer. You know, just wear them as long. I haven't seen the back of them, although it feels like I might have a little too much going on here. So I'm going to have to check that out and see how that looks in a mirror, maybe, or maybe play this back and see how that looks. <laughs> but yeah, but I think the jeans themselves are cute. The question is, do they fit me correctly? Okay, I'm back after a try on, and I know I look a little bit of a mess, but today was house cleaning day, and then I'm going to go out in the pool. <laughs> I didn't want to go in and do hair or put on any makeup, so <laughs> this is it. All right, so let's go through these items and see what we're going to keep or not keep. All right, so first is the jeans. And I think the jeans are very cute and they're nice. And I do like them. They are by Democracy. They're $108, but I think the fit was off on me. I went and played back and looked at the playback on all the items that I tried on. And yeah, I could see the crotch droop is noticeable in this fabric, even though it didn't feel that bad. And then the rear was okay, but the pockets did come down a little bit low. One of the things that probably didn't show that much maybe just a little bit in the video is because the waist was a little tighter and I pull it up way above my waist it did create a muffin top is that what it's called yeah muffin top on me um yeah like what I'm wearing right now I need to pick them up and <laughs> cover that because they, it creates that if you're wearing something above your waist for me it does at least um yeah so these are gonna go in the bag. I'm not gonna take the bag out and make all that noise with it. All right, so next is the sweater. I actually think that this was the most flattering item and nicest item in the box. It's just the timing is really wrong. It's a Nick and Zoe, and it is $108, as are the jeans. So it's, it's pretty spendy for a lightweight sweater, but I think it's because it is just so nicely made and designed. Orange is not my favorite color, but I have started to wear it a little. I think it's a, a nice flattering color on most everyone, really. But yeah, I think this is just too out of season for me. And I don't know that I need a lot more warm stuff living in Florida. If I was traveling a lot to warmer, cooler places, like when we one time we're thinking of getting an RV, which we're not going to do now because neither one of us want to be the one to drive it. But you know, that would be different. Maybe it'd need a little bit more warm clothes, but I just think it's kind of a waste of money for me, frankly. But I do think it is a very nice top. And same with this one, this Madewell top, I think is Madewell. 
I think it's nice, very nice quality. Um, everything, I think, except one thing ever that I've seen from Madewell, I thought was really nice quality and well done. Yeah, this is $49.50. I just, I don't like the sleeve, although I think it looked better than I thought it would um, than some of their stuff. The Just the plain shirts really look terrible on me, but I don't like the length of it in the front. I just don't think that would work for me, so that is going back. All right, so the next item are the shorts. These were the biggest contender for me. Uh, because I did like the fit of them and everything about them except the length. And these are by Market and Spruce and they are $58, which is about $10 less than a lot of shorts. Of course, they're the shorter shorts. If the, the longer version, they'd probably be $69. But these were, I don't know, I, I did look at them in the video and I just think, playback video, I think it's just more flattering um, with my that I carried weight in my legs, if they were just a little longer, I think it would be a little bit more flattering. If I was a person who tanned, like I see a lot of big leg girls um, that look really good in shorter shorts, they usually are girls that tan. <laughs> or they just are born naturally with a, a darker skin than me. But anyway, I am going to send them back, but I'm going to miss them because I did like the fit of them. It's probably one of the best fitting things I've had on. This, of course, this is not even a consideration. Taking this off, you should have heard it going ch -ch -ch from the static in it. Yeah, this is horrible old fabric. Oh, did you hear it? It's kind of hard to differentiate the sound between the tags moving and the static electricity in it. Yeah, and I, I just don't even like the feel of it. It just, it just feels like a really sorry stitch fix it feels like a really cheap satin yeah it's it's horrible so and it's by Bobo which surprises me because they make really nice cardigans and other things I've seen by Bobo are really nice it's only $36 so yeah I don't think I mean I don't think this would hold up like in the wash and stuff honestly Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope that you will give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're not, let's get to 2,000 subscribers. Help me do that. Call your friends, your neighbors, your family. Call the people you love or don't love. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.